Alacrity is a simple terminal emulator and the reason why I like it is because it's cross-platform. So basically I can install it on any OS and I just move my config file and I have everything set up as I want it on all the computers. When I say it's simple, I really mean simple. All the configuration options that you can think of, actually that Alacrity has, are on this web page, which is great. And even better thing is that they automatically tell you what is the default state so you know if you want to enter it in your config file or not. First time you start Alacrity, it looks something like this. If you want to configure it, you have to make a config file in the your home directory config, create folder Alacrity. And here you create a file alacrity.toml. And then you can edit it with any text editor that you want. I will use just Kwrite. So what do you put in this file? Well, if you go to their web page and go to the syntax, you can see all the options that you want to put. I will show you the things that are important to me. Basically, a little fluff. So the terminal looks a lot better. You will see that configuration is actually very simple. You have these uh, big titles that you put in your configuration files in these brackets. So under window, the first thing I care about is decorations to be none. So I take decorations, I copy, I paste it and I say none. And I say, and Electri has by default to automatically refresh the changes that you make, but this is the only change that you have to restart it for. And as you can see, I lost all my borders. From window, I want to change the padding also. And you can edit this as window padding. And here you can define X and X and Y. So I will put X equals, I don't know, 10 and Y equals 10 also. And this will change the margins uh, where fonts inside the, my terminal are located. So if I save the file, you can see that this was moved. Transparent can be set only on max, buttonless only on max. Next thing I like is opacity. And the default is a zero. And I will just put here. And I want a little transparency, so I will put... 0.8 and if you look when I save it will become transparent next thing I want to put are fonts so I'm interested in defining the font the size of the font that's pretty much it of course the font that you want to put has to be installed on your system that goes without saying the next thing I want to change is cursor so it's blinking so i go under cursor and here i have some options so i want to add another section so to say and default is block but i want to have it here just so i can i know how, where to change it and i don't have to go and look up for this documentation and now my cursor is blinking also i want to set my selection to clipboard which is by default false. So I will just make another section and I will uh, put it to true. And now if I select something, it is automatically put to clipboard and I, I can just paste it. I don't need to press special key for copy. And the last thing I want to change here is to always start in the fish shell. And this I can see under general, you can see how to define your shell. 
So I will just add my shell. Now if I restart Alacrity, you can see I'm in a fish shell. And the only thing I would ever want to put here are some themes. And you can import them with this syntax. First, you need to find some themes. And I always like Get Pachin because they have great themes. And they have already everything prepared for me to just copy and paste. So I will just copy this. Paste it. And if I look at my configuration folder, it's downloaded. Now I, I just need to download them all. And they even give you a nice copy paste just to put in your config file. So I just copy this. Let me just put it at the beginning of the file. And as you can already see, Latte was chosen by copying pasted and my terminal turned to white. So if I want to change a theme, I just uncomment the one that I want save it and everything changes the other thing that i like is tokyo night for all my terminals and text editors but this one is in yaml yaml is the old format that electri used to use but you can easily convert this to toml file i can see here that he has two teams put in one file, Tokyo Night and Tokyo Night Storm. So I will just put this in separate files. And since this is in YAML, I need sites that convert YAML to TOML. And just copy paste it here and everything is translated to TOML. However, if you see this is not exactly the uh, syntax that Alacrity uses now. They defined it with only with colors. So all I have to do is copy paste this. And exchange this with color. And save it as a uh, file and I will make another file to save Tokyo Night Storm and same as before I just change this with color and save this file as Tokyo Night Storm Now in my config file, I can just add these two themes here by copy pasting this line and call it by the na their names. Now if I want to change it, change my theme again, I just uncomment, save. When I save the file, my team has changed again. You have here a bunch of options that I really don't care about. If I find something that I'm missing, I'm just going to go to this file and see if it's available. But so far, I didn't find anything that I'm missing from the terminals like console or XFC. This really is just all I want from my terminal. And that's all.